All right, well, you know, when the kids grow up and they go away to college, some parents get a little sad by that. But Maz Robber and Amy Reingold sent their girls off to school, and then they got busy writing the first of a new series of books for young adults. And the first book in the series is Capital Girls, and it uh, concerns the adventures of well-off young Washingtonians. There's a lot of parties in this, lots of shopping, dating, powerful men, and a mysterious death as well. So the authors published a book under the dual pseudonym Ella Monroe, and they join us now. Thank you so much. Oh, thanks, thanks for having us. Thank you. First off, how did Ella Monroe come up? Because your name, Maz Robber, and Amy Reingold does, is nothing like Ella no, Monroe. How did you come up with that? Um, well, um, publishers like to have single bylines on mm -hmm. books. I think it's easier for, for readers to find them in the stores. And um, they, you know, uh, St. Martin's, our publisher, thought a sort of presidential sounding name would be good. Mm -hmm. And uh, actually my grandma, uh, my mother's maiden name is Munro. So we came up with Munro and we both admire Eleanor Roosevelt. Mm. Okay. So there you go. So what gave you the idea behind this book? Now I understand you have two, both of you have girls that you met when they were kindergarten playmates. So right. that's kind of the backstory there. Uh, what really gave you the idea uh, surrounding this to do, to do this story? Well, how hot uh, D.C. had become when mm -hmm. Obama was uh, first running for president. Just the city became alive and our kids were so excited about politics. And we thought, wow, this would maybe the idea of politics and teens and all the excitement and life of teens in D.C. could make a great book. Mm -hmm. Give me an idea what we're going to notice in the book. I, I was reading some information about it that kind of it feels like we're going to hear about and read about real places that we see and go to mm -hmm. in D.C. Yeah. So mm -hmm. this will really be an interesting book for people in the D.C. region. Yeah, one of the characters is almost, almost uh, is uh, D.C. We, we tried mm -hmm. to show what a great city it is. Um, you know, beautiful, historic, fun, lots and lots of fun. Um, you know, mostly the book is just about uh, kids growing up um, like, I mean, they're privileged, but uh, every, you know, every kid has sort of teen angst. Um, but these kids are in the spotlight and uh, they also are pawns in their sort of parents game playing so that's the difference but you know mostly it's just a really fun romp. <laughs> yeah, we made because Capital Girls is about mm -hmm. girls in the capital and we're local and we tried to, as Maz said that mm -hmm. we wanted DC to be showcased as sort of a character in the book because it's such an amazing place uh, to live and a lot mm -hmm. of people I, I think from having spoken to uh, friends don't realize that D.C. is um, hometown for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. I think a, just a political center is what they uh, think. Right. They don't realize the life that goes on with it. Uh, give me an idea. How much did some of the stories that are happening in Washington, D.C. influence what are in uh, the three books, which I, you know, the three books are already mm -hmm. written and just one is out. So how much did that influence them? Well, I mean, um, it's all, you know, just a big sort of fantasy, but um, I used to be a reporter and covering, you know, various scandals uh, on Capitol Hill and, and Clinton. Um, and you sort of, even back then, I kind of noticed the kids, um, although every president, I think, tries to protect their kids mm -hmm. from whatever's going on, they still somehow um, are used to a certain extent. Um, you know, uh, Chelsea mm -hmm. was a buffer for her parents. Um, and uh, Bush, the Bush girls, they were caught underage drinking uh, in Texas, right. and that was huge headlines. That was huge, yeah. So you kind of feel sorry for these kids in a lot of ways. Um, as much as their parents try to protect them, there's only a certain amount they can do. Mm -hmm. Now, I understand, too, in the book, part of it, you have some pretty big players, like one girl is a daughter of the chief of staff to the president. So this is kind of dating what you're talking about. Dating the president's son. Dating the president's son. So that gives you an idea how, you know, interesting it could definitely get. How, let me ask you this. I have to ask you, how do your real life daughters, uh, you know, feel about this or your real life children? You know, do a lot of people, are they afraid or going to think, oh, that's a story about me, you know, or not so much? Well, I'm sure a lot of kids would, <laughs> would think, oh, I can recognize this character or that. But nobody, it's just a composite of different stories, different people. Nobody is... You, there, there were a couple of twists though, early on that, um, that my mm -hmm. daughter read and said, "Mom, you've got to take that. You've got to take that out. That's too close to so and so." so. <laughs> Don't embarrass we, me, Mom. Yeah, <laughs> so we did. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you both. The uh, the book is Capital Girls, the first of uh, three books that will be coming out. When does your next one come out again? November thirteenth. Okay, Perfect so you got another timing. one come out. Very yeah, interesting. Election. During especially. the election. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you both for okay. coming.